Hello. We're going to show how to uh, use a MATLAB script and Audacity to collect some piano notes and to generate uh, an ASCII file for each note, which then can be used for things like cumulative line spectrum maps. All right, so the collect piano notes Matt is the name of the script. There is a, another script called Collect Piano Notes Oct that's written for Octave. Unfortunately, it uh, is not stable enough right now to be useful. I'm still working on it, so we'll have to use the one in MATLAB. Okay, we'll run this, and it says, uh, here's the directory where we're going to put the data. It says uh, start Audacity. So we'll go up here to the record button and press it, start it. So we're collecting. We'll go back here and we'll press enter. Okay, so it says to synchronize, press enter again, then strike any piano firmly when the graph appears. So we're going to look for a graphical plot prompt to, to strike this uh, synchronization note. So here I'm going to strike it. All right, there's our synchronization. Uh, now let's gather some data. Let's start with A0. Okay, we're going to say um, press enter and that'll generate the system. We'll look for the graphical prompt and then we'll strike the key. So here we go. Okay, save the information. Because it had been a mistake, we would not save it. We'd do it again. See what's been collected? Not yet. Uh, let's continue collecting data. Let's go to A0 sharp. I can change these note names but with impunity. All right. Uh, we'll do that one. Once again, we shall press enter and wait for the graphical prompt. see what's collected. Actually, well, we're going to stop the, the recording because we're, we're done recording. Okay, we're going to go to the next step rather than continue any more recording. But anyway, it shows up here. Here's the two notes we collected and went at the times at which they were collected. Stop Audacity recording. We did that, but leave it on the screen. We did that. Okay, use Audacity to export the file. export. Now we have a file name out there already from a previous session. I'm just going to reuse that because it's the proper name. It's A0 to A0 sharp. It's a WAV file. Yes, we're going to already use it. Okay, now it's going out there. Uh, on the Audacity screen, click, click on View and then uh, Fit in Window. Okay, here we see the whole session. Here's the uh, synchronization strike. Here's A0. Here is A0 sharp. Now we have to find out a little bit more about where that synchronization strike occurs. All right. Looks like 26.19 would be fine. Press enter. 26.19. Save the timing information. Yes. We're going to save it in A0 to A0 sharp. T for timing. This will be a matte file, unlike the other file, which was wave. Okay. That has done it. Let's go out and take a look here. All right, here we have um, well, these two things are from previous sessions. So I'm going to take those out of there. 
here are the two files we say this is the file that we saved from uh, or exported from audacity and here's the uh, timing file we just saved the mat file all right we're going to read the wave file into matlab and uh, try to parse out those two waves here's the directory we're going to use the default directory let's read in the timing information just to check that we have it right there's the t there's the name of the file 2619 is the number, it's correct. Sample notes are on a WAV file or a, an MP3 file, and the answer is WAV. The name of the WAV file is A0 to A0 sharp dot WAV. All right, enter the file for saving the individual notes that we're going to parse out. Same place. All right, here it says. Save data in A0, save data in A0 sharp. Let's take a look at the waves. Okay, we're going to do a spectrum of each wave, so we'll go from 0, and since it's a low frequency uh, fundamental, we'll just go to 500 hertz. All right, well, there's the wave that we recovered. About seven seconds worth. Here's the spectrum. Plotted in dB versus frequency. You can see there's not much power down here in the low frequencies where because we're missing the fundamental for these low low keys. Now let's go to the next one. Zero to five hundred again. And here's A zero sharp. And here's the spectrum. And again, we don't have any power at the fundamental, or actually the first or second partial. Alright. That concludes this initial data gathering session. We will come back for a little bit of processing later on. So this is part one and it's finished. Thank you for watching and listening.